whatever you wish to do, you must bring yourself to moment of joy and clarity within yourself. At that moment what you decide, even if you die, you must go by that. Whenever your emotions go up and down, your mind says many things, that's not important. It says one thing today, one thing in the morning, one thing in the evening. It says one thing today and another thing tomorrow. That's of no consequence. In the moment of clarity, when I'm saying joy, because when you're happy, you're not compulsive. When you're very happy and clear, at that time, if you look at things and see that, yes, this is what is more sensible for me, just do that, it doesn't matter if it feels like hell. It doesn't matter. You go through hell for ten years, it doesn't matter, you just do that because that's where your well-being is. When you're in different states of compulsiveness, if you make decisions as to which way to turn, you'll be endlessly lost. It is not about what you're doing, it is just that you're doing it in, in an unwavering way. Every day you are off and on, off and on, doesn't happen. You just unwavering, you become unpointed. It doesn't matter what it is. If you want to be a butcher, be a butcher in an unwavering way, it will open up. Just not wavering for a moment, what you have decided in a moment of clarity and joy, just sticking onto it without wavering a little bit, Nobody can deny it to you. Every day when your thoughts and emotions fly this way and that way, you keep changing your mind, changing your mind, changing your mind, you will go in circles, endlessly in circles. Because one who changes direction too often, obviously is not interested in going anywhere, isn't it? You know, this is… Uh, The world is round, so which direction you go, it doesn't matter. As long as you go without changing direction, you'll make the journey, isn't it? You'll complete the journey, isn't it? If you change your direction, it'll put you into an endless state of being lost, always lost. So. You want to be there, be there, no problem. You want to be here, be here. Don't go on changing your mind every day, morning one way, evening another way. You are a torture to yourself and everybody around you. One who is constantly changing their mind is a torture to the himself and to everyone around, isn't it so? In the… right now you're thinking, tomorrow morning I'm going to do my yoga. Tomorrow morning when the dawn <laughs> at five o'clock in the morning, I hear it every day, I don't know how many of you hear it. <laughs> the moment it goes dawn, maybe we should beat a drum. Then your body says, to hell with this yoga, all I want to… It keeps changing, its priorities keep changing and changing and changing. There is another way to live. Where the biggest joys that you have known in your life, the greatest pleasures that you have known in your life, will look like, you know, will look like ant's pleasure. This being is capable of that. 
when it… when it comes to body and mind, we're all differently capable. No two bodies are equally capable, no two minds are equally capable. But when it comes to this being, every being is equally capable of containing the very existence within himself. Scientists are saying it's ever expanding. How to contain it? That's the whole beauty of it. That which is endless, that which is eternal, that which is boundless and that which is always expanding, that can be contained in this being. About that, no two beings are differently capable, every being is equally capable. It doesn't happen because you keep changing direction. Wherever you find a little niche which is comfortable, you try to settle down there. This so-called uh, getting civilized has become a huge detriment for spiritual <laughs> process. Not essentially, but I would like to say this. Because uh, if… if you were a nomad, you know nomad means what? That, mean, that means you are not mad. So who is not a nomad? One who is mad. One who is mad settles down. One who is not mad moves on and on and on, doesn't settle down anywhere. The moment we stopped being nomadic, we got into a certain kind of madness of safety and security. Whether it's physical, psychological or emotional, we're always looking for that niche where we can settle down and sleep. <laughs> and once you find a niche and it gets too sweet and comfortable and you don't have the courage to step out and once again make the journey. So if all you're looking for a picnic is a picnic, then it's okay. You know, it feels like that when we… if you want to try to climb the seventh hill, you climb a certain distance where your knees will be creaking and your breath will be looking like a… you know, a steam locomotive, push, 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 it's going. Then you look around and the bamboo… the beautiful rocks, the bamboo around you and everything is so wonderful, the valley is so beautiful. What is the purpose? Taking one more step, this is wonderful, this is it. Your mind tells you this is it. It's… I'm not questioning the beauty of the place. I'm not questioning the pleasure of being there. But right now, this argument has come, this new level of logic has come in you simply because your lungs are working like a steam engine and your legs are creaking like an unoiled bullock cart. So, new logic will come. Do you see every time for different situations that you get into, different states of comfort or discomfort you get into, you develop a new logic? Have you noticed this with yourself? Like they say, when you are a student, everybody is a communist. The moment you come out of your education and get yourself a job, you become a socialist. The moment you get married, you become a capitalist. 
according to new situations, different levels of comfort or discomfort, new levels of logic will come. The world has come to a point where the Maoists have become capitalist, that's it. <laughs> that is it, you know. <laughs> so, it keeps happening. That's why in a certain moment of clarity and joy when you are there, you look at something, what you see is your well-being, you stick to that. Tomorrow it looks like horror to you, it doesn't matter, you stick to it. It feels like hell, you stick to it. That's well-being. If you keep shifting, nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs>